Hey there, Cootie Crew, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about something a lot of people ask about around me in real life, so I figured I would make a video about it on my channel because there might be a lot of you curious on the internet as well. So today's video and the reason my camera is angled this way is all about my sternum piercing, healing, and aftercare. Quick disclaimer before I begin, I am not a professional. I'm just a person who's had a lot of piercings in my day. So I'm going to be sharing my experience around healing and aftercare with this guy with you. But if you're having some issues that you can't figure out, definitely contact a professional piercer for some sort of consultation. I know I've said it on my channel numerous times before, but the professionals are your best bet if you're having trouble, you're stuck on something, or you can't figure out what's going on. Now, let me warn you, if you leave a creepy comment on this video, it's getting deleted. Okay, now let's get to it. Here it is right now. I've had this piercing like five and a half months. Like there's still a little bit of redness and irritation around it from some things I was doing wrong. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to share what the it's been like having this piercing because um, maybe you're thinking about getting it and you're really curious or maybe you're just curious for the sake of being curious. Like, I get that. So this video is totally focused on healing and aftercare. If you have any more questions about this piercing that I don't go over in this video, please go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to those in a future video. First, I'm going to cover all of the standard aftercare practices for this type of piercing. Some general aftercare guidelines for any piercings are to stay away from pools of water, so any sort of water that can gather and get gross, uh, pools, lakes, baths, any of that, no go. And I was told to expect a uh, eight, eight ish months for this guy to completely heal to the point where I'd be able to go swimming and stuff without any issues. Also, no touching. Like, it's just best to not fiddle with them at all. And also, you want to be wary if you do have to touch it, wash your hands first so that you're not getting any sort of bacteria or grossness into an open wound. Um, also, no harsh cleaners, so don't use any soaps on it. Really, the only thing you want to be using on it is sea salt. Get yourself a sterile saline spray, and that is it. It is very recommended to sleep on your back, just so you don't get it caught on blankets and stuff, or like squished or tugged on in your sleep. It's just better if you're sleeping on your back, which is something I already do, I don't know, 80% of the time. Another thing is that the jewelry I got is titanium, and it's medical grade titanium, which means it's used for implants and stuff, and your body shouldn't reject it. Certain metals and poor quality things can really mess with you and get rejected. So please, if you're planning on getting this pierced or any dermal piercing, do your homework and choose wisely. It may be more expensive to get something like titanium, but it's a heck of a lot easier in the long run. I would do two, uh, two sprays a day with the sterile saline solution. One of those times would be after I shower because it's best to rinse it after you shower with some of that saline solution, just because, you know, maybe you have some soap water or something that has gotten in there and that just helps flush it out and keep it clean. One other thing to note is the position on my chest that I got it, because some I've seen some photos of people who get their sternum pierced lower than I did. And that's a tough spot to heal just because one, it moves so much and gets like jumbled around more. So the higher you put it on your chest, the more stable that area is going to be. So I was following all of this to a T. I'm usually very good about taking care of my piercings. The first few months I had zero issues with it healing okay. It was honestly like really surprising but awesome. This baby was doing great and all was well. But after those first few months, it started to get upset. And I was following all of the instructions correctly, 
So I continued to do all of those things correctly, and I could not figure out what on earth was upsetting my piercing. And I have some photos. I was taking photos kind of as a log of how it was going, and my phone just does not want to focus on this thing. So I'm sorry for the terrible quality of these photos, but you should be at least able to see what I'm talking about. So there was the bump. So, you know, when piercings get irritated, they get the bump. So the bump appeared the first time. After two months, there was a bump. And I was like, okay, we can deal with the bump. So I started showering like twice a day. And my showers, I use water that is about as hot as fresh magma. It is like fire or the surface of the sun or boiling water. So I thought, oh, my piercing is irritated. It needs to be cleaned better. So I focused some really toasty, hot, boiling magma sun water onto my piercing, on my chest where my piercing was, for extended periods of time during my shower, which I did not do previously. Except then it, it was not getting better because that wasn't the issue. I could not figure out what on earth was the issue? It would just be like, get better, get worse again. Get a little better, get worse again. For like two months. Once the piercing shop finally opened with the pandemic restrictions, I got myself in there ASAP because I could not figure out what on earth I was doing wrong to piss this thing off. I was so frustrated. Like, is it always going to be this way? Like I was afraid to wear tank tops or anything where you would see it because it was so gross. Like I look like patient zero of a zombie movie. Ugh. I was, I was just frustrated. So frustrated. Turns out I naturally just have pretty dry skin and I live in a desert. So that makes my skin even drier. Moisturizer and sunscreen are two of my best friends turns out <laughs> the skin around my piercing was just getting really really dry and that was what was making it so irritated and so easy to become irritated is because the skin was just really 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 dry the changes i made to make it go from sick nasty disgusting to this in a week so there's still a little bit of redness and irritation around it, but it looks a heck of a lot better. They recommended I not shower with the water temperature that I've been showering at, and then use a cold compress over the piercing. And to be safe, you know, from bacteria and stuff, I do put like a layer of paper towel over it first, and then like a bag of frozen vegetables, leave it on there for a few minutes. I went back down to just the two sprays a day, and then after each spray, I moisturize the area with emu oil. Of course, with clean hands only. So with the emu oil, what you do is put a tiny little dab on your finger. A little bit of the oil goes a long way. Um, again, clean fingers only. So wash your hands before you don't want to contaminate your oil. And then just give yourself a really, really light massage with the oil around where the piercing is super light like you're not trying to tug on your piercing at all or pull on your skin it's just super light so that you can massage the oil into your skin so i think keeping this up it's going to go back to being totally fine and will finish healing properly hopefully without any issue i'll keep you updated <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, informative. If it was, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to check out the other videos that I have on my channel and subscribe if you would like to stay tuned for more. Okay, super quick before I stop filming and forget yet again, I started an Instagram account for this channel specifically. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description and you can also find it linked on my channel page. Thanks, bye. Thank <laughs> you.